In the streaming world, there's a constant battle of who has the most subscriptions and viewers. If you ask kids what they want to do when they grow up, many would say that they want to be a YouTuber or a streamer. When competing for the number one streaming spot on the number one streaming website, Twitch, it has become a copycat world. Subathons have been the main segue for streamers to rack up thousands of subscribers and find themselves at the top of the Twitch subscriptions chart. Those tens of thousands of subscribers translates to life-changing money. The latest and most intriguing to be in that position and become the most subscribed streamer has been 21-year-old internet legend, Jinxie. Oh, and those subathons and all that we just talked about, he didn't do any of that to reach the top spot. So what did he do? We are all about to find out. Oh my god. Jinxie started streaming in 2019, and he went his first year streaming to an audience of 1-2 to two people if he was lucky. He was willing to put in the time and effort, like 6,130 hours of time, which is how long he streamed Rainbow Six Siege, the game he plays the most. He put in the time and kept consistency, and he would slowly start to gain a following, despite Rainbow Six Siege not being the most popular game on Twitch. He didn't sell out and stream games with more views on Twitch, and you're about to see how that would end up paying off in a big way. This year, he passed over a million followers and broke the Twitch subscriber record with over 75,000 subscribers. We have many streamers who host subathons where they stream and incentivize viewers that they will do certain things with each new subscriber level that they reach. This can get a little freaky in the pools, hot tub, and beaches category. I'm not digging any streamers that do subathons or pool, hot tub, and beaches category either, but the fact that Jinxie has never done a subathon or danced around in a bikini in a blow up pool in his living room and was still able to take over the top spot is refreshing. The real focus should be on how long will Jinxie be able to hold the top spot and avoid being canceled, which seems to be the demise of every big streamer. I mean, look at Kai Sinet. He was just banned on Twitch after doing a month straight subathon. Again, this is just another area where Jinxie is unique and separates himself from the competition. Subathon free and a drama free dude. Stirring up drama for clicks is another strategy that streamers have used in the past. Jinxie just simply is himself and he does a hell of a job at it because this dude is funny and entertaining. So whatever game he is playing, even if the viewers aren't into the game, he still can maintain viewers. Jinxie keeps up the same energy and random humor throughout the entirety of his streams, which is an underlooked talent in streaming. He also plays on console with the majority of Rainbow Six Siege players on PC and he has been able to still keep a competitive edge despite playing with a controller. He has also managed to grow his TikTok page to over a million followers, posting funny videos and streaming clips that has translated to people coming over to his streams after discovering him on TikTok. Dude, you can literally, I swear it is insane, you can literally achieve anything. You are the only person that can stop yourself. Put in the work, stay consistent, and always stay true to yourself. You will be found, just don't give up.